Hey everyone, King Kong Rong here with a special announcement and an offer for you. First of all, I've signed on a sponsorship with Raid Shadow Legends. Yes, Raid, the game just about every YouTuber is promoting. The difference is that most of those ads are for Raid's mobile version, whereas I'm promoting the PC version. So stick around while I give you my overview of my first couple days playing the game. First off, the tutorial is super quick. I signed in using my campaign link, downloaded Play and Play, and the tutorial itself took like 5-10 minutes as you're guided through the basic interface. Before I knew it though, I was thrown right into the campaign. But before going deep into the campaign, I was reminded to go into my rewards box where I found the starter rewards that come with using my link, which we'll come back to in a bit. I immediately got rewarded the Jotun Epic Champion, lots of silver, gems, and plenty of energy. Uh, Jotun is an HP champion, so I figure I'll use him as a tank while Kale, my starter, will do the DPS work. So I ran through a bit of the campaign with Kale, Jotun, and some other champs I picked up from the summoning portal. And one thing I like about the summons is, number one, the stars don't tell the full value of a champion. I.e., not all one stars are useless, at least in the beginning. Um, so for example, I got Sniper, a two star, but she's good on uh, the early PvP and campaign with her AoE attack. Um, and it, which includes a reduced speed debuff, so for a turn-based game, that's pretty key. Later on, you know, I'll, I'll probably replace her, but early going, she's pretty good. Uh, I also got a Death Hound, which is a one-star, but according to some uh, websites I've seen, he's it's actually a S-tier champ. Why? Because it's excellent in a particular dungeon. So it's a specialist, which is fine. I like building specialist squads, I like tooling around with team building, I mean it's no fun having one team for everything. I mean some of the one and two stars can be leveled up and fused to create other champions, which is the second thing I like about uh, the summoning system here. So I thought it was really neat and it made it less of a bummer not to get a three star champion right off the bat. Aside from the campaign, there are other gameplay modes. In fact, there's a lot going on, so it's easy to get overwhelmed with the choices of activities, so I'll try to break it down. Primarily, there are PvE dungeons for farming character upgrades, XP materials, and character accessories. There are also timed events or tournaments that you can choose to focus on as well, like dungeon diving, which rewards you points and items uh, depending on the quality of stuff you get while farming. There's also a PvP component to the game. I mean, I don't imagine I'll be playing too much PvP, but for those who are interested, you can certainly take part in uh, pitting your best teams against other players. I've only been able to play Classic, but at level 35, you can unlock Tag Team Arena, which just sounds amazingly chaotic. Uh, as I reach level 30, I'll be able to unlock the Forge, which is another layer of building in this game, um, or crafting, rather. I mean, really, what I love about this game is the depth of the character and team building. There are literally hundreds of champions of varying quality, varying skills, that can then further be shaped by your choice of equipment and uh, their skill masteries, depending on what you want to use them for. So, you know, I'm not a meta-chasing player. Um, I like having the freedom to play around with the game's various characters. It's really what makes it so much fun. You know, again, there's that gotcha component, but I never felt, like, compelled to... To, play, to pay to win. I feel like for the PvPers, uh, it's very competitive, so I feel like their opinion might be different. But since I don't plan on investing too much time uh, in PvP outside of the dailies, I don't really mind so much. So yeah, I do highly recommend this game, and if it's something that you would enjoy as well, please use my campaign link in the description below. Once you install the game on PC and complete the tutorial, you'll have a whole bunch of resources to get your raid journey started right. But hurry, this offer is only valid for the next 48 hours, so get to it. Thanks so much for your support, and I'll catch you in the next video.